Hey guys, it's Nate, AK The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Tomorrow is La Liga team of the season, but you wouldn't know it by looking at this game. We have no loading screen and barely any leaks of what is to come for La Liga Toss tomorrow. And my question is, where are those leaks? Why are we not getting them? Because in most of the promos this year, we've had the full entire team leaked on a Thursday. We're looking all at all the cards that are going to drop on the next day in the game. So what's different about team in the season? Because that's been a trend that is happening lately. I want to discuss that a little bit today. We're going to be talking about leaks a little bit in this video. And of course, La Liga team of the season kind of starts today, if you want to think about it, with the objective cup that will be coming out. Get those 90 rated La Liga squads ready. And of course, you have division rivals, which are going to move the markets. And one last day to try to pack Tots League One cards. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's dive into the SBC content that we had yesterday yesterday it was it was an okay day yesterday yesterday was really marred by the server issues once again for mostly people on playstation it seems and we'll touch on that a little bit more in today's video but that's one of the most frustrating things for me playing this game right now is the game constantly lags disconnects in the menus and in gameplay it is very very annoying and it's kind of ruining my experience on this game right now i'll be completely honest but in SBC section yesterday, we had Ederson versus Hoffman for the Europa League showdown, right? Big game upcoming here. I actually don't know when the game is. I need to look at a calendar and figure out when this game is actually going to be played. But these SBCs are out for a week. Guys, Ederson here for um, the Serie A card. Maybe good for Serie A team of the season coming up ahead. I think people are interested in this card because it's cheaper. It's only 55,000 coins. But the card that I think everybody's doing is this Jonas Hoffman right here. This is the guy I think most people are completing because, yes, he's a little bit more expensive. He's 84, 85,000 coins to complete. It's two squads. But, like, who's going to stop Leverkusen right now in the world of football? Power shot, relentless plus, and ping pass plus four, five, and really, really good stats. Of course, the dynamic image adds some height to the card as well. And you're playing for the plus two upgrade. Great. Whoever wins this Europa League final matchup will get a plus two overall. The card going to 94. So can you imagine this card with plus two all the way around it? It would look pretty good. If you've got a couple of decent pulls from the Bundesliga team of the season that you're still rocking in your squad, you know, it might be a while till that upgrade actually happens after they win, of course, supposedly. But it could be a really, really good card. So it's worth the craft, right? If you got extra fodder laying around, I think it is worth the SBC craft there. That's really all there is to say about this. Uh, I think a lot of people are just doing this Hoffman for the dynamic image and for the fact that it is a historic year for Leverkusen and who's going to stop them now. Don't know if anybody can. So that was that SBC coming out yesterday. Now, of course, the real SBC that we're excited, well, we were excited for. I'll say it this way, because most people yesterday opened up their League One Tots guaranteed and were not very happy with what they got. We were opening a bunch of these on stream yesterday, guys. And I think there's one major reason as to why the pack weight wasn't as good. Think about upgrade SBCs and kind of those gamble type packs and player picks that we get often in this game, right? The ones that we see that are cheaper in price always end up having the worst pack weight, right? You think about some of the best icon player picks is when they upgrade them, they have higher ratings, they include some of the new icons, and they just sound, kind of seem to have a better weight, right? But those cheap, you know, 50, 60, 70k gamble SBCs always seem to have a really poor weight. Well, this was the cheapest TOTS upgrade for the top five leagues that we have had yet at 69,000 coins for this SBC. Only one squad, an 87 rated squad, and a team in the season. That is the cheapest by far of any that we have had yet. Not a ton cheaper than Bundesliga, but definitely cheaper than that. The weight, you could tell was down because of the price that this SBC was down. I think the Prem Tots guaranteed was like 140k or something like that. And this is 70,000 coins. Guys, yesterday I have never seen so many Lacos and so many Kenny Lalas in my life from one guaranteed pack. The weight was terrible. I thought we were going to be packing a lot of Donnarumma's because we packed a lot of Cobels and stuff like that from the Bundesliga guaranteed. No, we couldn't even get 95 rated Donnarumma. We were getting 90 Laco, 90 Lala, Ben Taleb. Like those guys were everywhere, man. And we opened some up on the second channel if you want to catch those out, of course, uh, or catch those there. But it was not good, like, honestly. But again, when you look at the price of the SBC, and this is something that I didn't really think about while we were on stream, 
uh, it is it is really really cheap. But personally, I'd rather have a more expensive SBC, especially with what we can craft right now in this game with all the SBCs available. I would rather have a more expensive one with a little bit better, even if it's just a little bit better of a chance, like a noticeable chance, but a little bit better. Like I would be super down for that because yesterday we only saw two cards out of probably 30 plus of those packs that we opened that were good. It was Marquinhos and Taram. And then after that, our next best was literally Le Melu. Like, I don't think we had anybody above, well, Donnarumma, 54K. We had nobody else above 50K except for those two cards. So yeah, the weight on those were bad, but it's kind of one of those that you, you got to do, right? You got to give yourself a try because the you never know uh, could happen, right? Something crazy could happen. You could get something good. So that was that one yesterday. It did make fodder move. And yesterday was kind of the peak sell time for a lot of fodder. But since it was an 87 rated squad, instead of like an 85 and an 86 combined, like the Bundesliga was, guess what happened? Your 87s and 88s were the cars that did good. From 9 low, 9.3k here for pop, all the way to like 10, 11,000 coins. 88s and 87s rose up very nice yesterday. They were a really good time to sell those. Like we said though, if you had even 85s and 86s, yesterday was a really good sell time for those because of what is about to happen today with Rivals Rewards. Every single week, the, the fodder market drops at Rivals Rewards, and I think these cards are going to be a watch today. We'll talk about that towards the end of the video when we get into some of the content. Now, we also have to watch these League One Tots cards because I know some of you guys were investing and other people were buying these cards yesterday for a market rise, and some of them did go up, right? We bought Marquinhos for 809. He sold for 937. We bought two Jonathan Davids, one at 743, one at 751. They both sold for 860, and Cherokee sold for 577, bought for 509. So, really really good flips making a couple hundred K off of those cards like awesome awesome flips yesterday very happy with how those went now not all the cards maintain their prices that well you can see Jonathan David's back at 800k I'm getting tempted at this price to be completely honest uh, Marquinhos is up still Taram is up still I think Taram may be one of the largest risers in price along with like Nuno Menge and Todibo. Those cards rose up the most yesterday. Um, I would definitely watch some of them today during Rivals Rewards. I think the ones that I would be the most interested in investing in now from this team, though, would be like cheaper ones. Like Zakaria, when he was 33k, I'm kicking myself for not buying 10 and putting it on my transfer list with my budget because the bro is now 40k and I knew how hyped this card was. I've seen him everywhere on Twitter. A lot of people are saying for his price, that is a honestly disgusting card. If this card drops today to like, I don't know, low to mid 30s, if you can get him for like 35k on bid today during rivals rewards um even if it's like 37k he may not drop too much lower than that because he's not going to be that packable i don't think um i would probably try to stock up on one or two of those because that card looks really really nuts and i think a lot of people are pretty hyped to use him and as you can tell he's 40k now he's starting to go up so today with the supply at rivals might be a good time to pick one of him up and maybe one um maybe one of the the right back guy with 99 pace as well i forget his name oh he's right there tiago santos maybe one of him maybe one todibo or medina but a lot of these guys i think won't rise up too much in the next couple of days and for the expensive cards kind of like with bundesliga I mean, if I look at the Bundesliga Tot Squad, most of these guys are at the same price they were last week or a little bit lower. So I'm not going to mess with too many of them just because I'm thinking still that La Liga could be very good. So I'm not investing in anything else right now. My Basically, my coin balance is I'm almost liquid, waiting to see what happens today on this game and as we get into La Liga. Now, really quickly, we did have one last piece of content yesterday. That was in Objectives, and it was the Pedro G Fuel, as he's known as, but... Pedro Gonçalves, Tots Plus card. A lot of people were super hyped about this, and it looks good. I don't think the card looks insane. I mean, he does have 90s or above in four different stats. He's got Finesse, Trickster, and Incisive. So if you're good with Trickster Plus, he can also play on the left, the right, and center mid. It's a really well-rounded, nice card. He's got good play styles, and he also can be upgraded via the Team of the Season Plus Evo. So I got nothing wrong with that. Uh, card that was dropped yesterday. I just don't think it's like super duper crazy. That is one thing that we have to mention. And then also yesterday we had compensation for the icon player pick when it was first incorrectly released on Sunday at uh, 6 a.m. UK instead of 6 p.m. So if you did that SBC then 
and got a base icon from it. Well, you got your compensation yesterday. So that was the EA FC Direct tweet that we had to talk about yesterday. So let's talk about tomorrow a little bit, right? We still do not have very much news, leaks, and information about La Liga team of the season. And I want to talk about that a little bit because I think last week we maybe had like four or five cards leaked for team of the season league one as well heading into a thursday but even one day away from these brand new team of the season teams being released why are the leaks not being posted like why are we not getting as many leaks right when you think about it there's really only kind of two answers for this number one either the information is not getting to the leakers like ea is somehow withholding the information either they're late to put it out and decide and make the cards or that sort of thing or um, you know, they're just late to post it. The other reason would be the leakers are withholding that information from us. And I'm really not being led to believe that that is the case, to be completely honest, um, especially because of how not hype this week has been. If they actually had the leaks, you would think they would want to try to hype things up a little bit and post those cards and try to draw some interactions out of them. But that hasn't really been happening. The only two new leaks that we have right now after yesterday are Antonio Rudiger uh, as a center back, which this is one that a lot of people were really, really looking for. Again, the playstyle pluses and the stats are not confirmed. It is only a prediction. We will have to see. He's going to be cracked though, right? I really hope his card has aerial. The aerial playstyle plus, the first time I used that in this game was on his gold base card and it was so good. He's going to be absolutely nuts. He's going to be expensive for sure. If they give him Anticipate and Aerial Plus, he's going to be nuts. But that's the first leak that we had yesterday. The second leak was Valverde. And those are the only leaked cards that we got yesterday. Really, not a lot, right? We only have, I think, what, four or five players that are leaked right now. And usually we would have, like most of a team at this point that's why it seems a bit off and these are even like obvious leaks as well guys none of these leaks have even come from the number one leaking authority in the community foot sheriff he has been radio silent in terms of the leaks and that's how he was last week with bundesliga as well until like thursday so maybe it is today when they're going to start posting a lot more about the leaks and stuff I don't know. I'm not involved in the leak conversation. I think this, if you haven't noticed already, we talk about leaks a lot, but I have no inside information and I don't get leaks ahead of this. If these guys do, like if, if I see them, they're the ones that are posting them. I don't have the intel, nor do I really want it, right? I, I'm down for the surprise. Let me, let me say this too. I'm super down. If we did not have any leaks this week, apart from maybe some of the ones that we had, and it was all a genuine surprise or most of it was a genuine surprise, heading into the content drop on Friday, but I really don't think that's how it's going to end up being. Now, the two reasons I think that maybe we have had less leaks um, as of like team of the season is EA cracking down on leaks. That's a question a lot of people have been asking uh, recently. Uh, you know, it, even before team of the season, there were just less leaks in general for a lot of the promos that were happening, you know, and the leaks would kind of happen really late, like they're happening right now. Uh, yeah, it's been a trend. But I don't know if that actually is the case or not, because I feel like EA still hasn't 100% figured out where the leaks are coming from, or if they care enough to try to figure it out and spend a lot of energy, time, money, resources on figuring out where that information is getting leaked. Because yes, it now has created accounts on, on Twitter with like millions of followers literally just looking for leaks and early information on this game. But has it affected their bottom line or, or hurt them at all? I don't think so. So maybe they just don't care enough about it. Even though I do think they actually don't want the leaks, honestly, guys. Um, I don't know. I have no idea if they're cracking down on leaks or if it's just the leakers withholding that information. The other thing that I want to mention is, could it actually be EA being behind? And I think there's actually a couple of good points to maybe speak to this. Um, remember the 90 plus TOTS pack that we got on Tuesday? how I mentioned that we had not had pack code on Tuesday morning when the video went up. We had not had pack code that was released yet and updated for the new cards that were going to be packable from that. And the pack code was updated literally one hour before the uh, SBC came out. I wonder if EA is just really, really behind right now for whatever reason. They're probably working on FC 25. They're trying to make a team of the season run smooth. They've got a whole Euros content stuff this summer to try to plan for as well. It's probably a lot going on at the moment. And maybe that's why we've seen some of the mistakes that we have seen, like the 90 plus pack getting added to the code right before content. Like I think those 
like content additions that happen last minute notice actually have a very high um, percentage of being a mistake and a glitch. Like think about it. If you're doing your homework at the last minute before you're supposed to turn it in that 11:59 PM turn in time, right? And you're doing it. You start at 11 PM You're giving yourself a short amount of time to do it. Do you produce your best quality of work? No, you really don't. Right? So I wonder if it's that sort of a thing. If they're really busy, you don't have enough people and they're adding this stuff in late. So it's not getting the attention it deserves. That could also be some of the answer as to why the whole red pick glitch situation and the intended unintended all of that why that happened last friday for league one team of the season because those red rewards were added very very late into the code so that is one thing that i wanted to kind of touch on and mention on as well we're probably never going to figure this out and, and know why but it's kind of interesting to think about when you think of this game and the information and everything that goes in and goes on even behind the scenes that we don't even know everything about it is pretty crazy. So that's kind of the conversation that I want to have today. I mean, guys, we're going to see more leaks. We're going to see more news today. I would be shocked if we had not very many leaks on a, on a Thursday heading into a Friday for sure. So I would really expect us to see more leaks today. Maybe Foot Sheriff, Foot Police, FIFA Romania, all the guys that are normally posting leaks on Twitter slash X. I bet there's more information that is coming out today. Now, speaking of today, there's a lot to discuss as we get into the content drop and especially a good opportunity to make coins. First, let's talk about chronologically rivals rewards. I am not finishing my rivals this week. I'm going to stop at three wins. I'm not going to get seven. I did get to division one for the first time, uh, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to get two seven wins because it's just a not worth it. B um, DCs. And right now on PlayStation, again, the gameplay is absolutely chalked because of the servers. So I don't want to mess with that. And it's been really, really sweaty anyway. So we're going to take our rewards there. But what that's going to do is, of course, as it does every single Thursday, bring some supply to fodder. But there's a caveat today. If you want to try to make some coins today, I think there's an opportunity here, guys, because one of the most popular SBCs today is refreshing and that is the 88 plus non glitched anymore icon player pick usually this refreshes on wednesdays but since it was delayed by a day since it was messed up and this really came back onto the game on monday it's refreshing today which will be able to do it two more times remember when this spc came out for the first time what cards moved in price the most right it was your 85s all the way to your 88 rated cards when this came out on monday we saw those cards absolutely sky let's go take a look at the graph just to again show it monday endler went from 7.8k to 10,000 coins i'm not saying that 88s are going to go all the way back down to like 8k today with rivals rewards but what i am saying is there's a really good opportunity if you're jonesing to make some coins in this game, bid on 87s and 88 rated cards today around the content drop. That would be the rating that I would focus on the most because I think they have the best opportunity to get low bids. And also they're going to have the most demand today for that SBC. Get on bids for those cards around Rivals Rewards and even for a couple hours after, get on bids and then sell them an hour or two after content as there should be a nice drop with rewards and then a spike afterwards so make sure you see the price drop though like if 88s only go down to 9,000 coins could they go back up to like 10,500 maybe but i i think i would really only want to pay like eight eight and a half k for the 88 rated cards because i think you'll be able to get that on bid they could genuinely drop that much i mean last week um, well, Pop's not a good example because she was in packs. Last week, Kimmich, he didn't have a team in the season, right? Last week, Kimmich, what did he do? He on, let's see, Thursday, this is Saturday 12th, that's too far. Wednesday, he was 10,000 coins. Thursday, with uh, rewards, he went from 9K, boom, all the way down to 8.2. So that's a 1,000 coin drop. And then at content, he went back up to 9,000 coins. That was actually on Friday, just kidding. He went back up to 9,000 coins from 8K. He could go back up to like, like we see last week, Kimmich today could go down to like 8.9, maybe eight and a half at his lowest, and then go back up to 10K. That would be a fluctuation worth trading with. So enough yapping about fodder prices, but that is a opportunity to flip today that you might be able to do. And also an opportunity to craft this SBC if you want to. Now also at content today, speaking of objectives, speaking of La Liga team of the season, we are going to get more seasonal objectives for the la liga team of the season today right it's going to be la liga and liga f you'll have the xp which is going to push a lot of people up to maybe even level 30 
I mean, I, I know I'm kind of behind here at level 23. I bet a lot of people are going to be getting past level 30 today with some of that XP that will be given out. And of course, it'll be more time to play in the Season 6 Lounge. So watch out for your 90 rated La Liga cards. And I've kind of got a list over here of some of the best 90 rated La Liga cards. And you can see it's all green, right? That means their prices are going up. Most of them are. But keep an eye on some of these cards today. Here's a Militao who looks like he's down a little bit. Okay, now he's back up. But... You can see that a card like this, he's already gone up a lot. I mean, I don't know what's going on here, but be careful with these cards because some of the 90 rated ones have been invested in a lot and they are up. Like this card was two, he was 260, 270, and then one low point of 240 right last week. And now he's up to 280. Selling in the hype is going to be your safest play as always for some of these. I don't know if La Liga cards are going to move as much, but some of them are very rare. So you could have some really good fluctuations like this Nico Williams. Look, he's already gone up. Last Saturday and Sunday, he was 140,000 coins. Bro is now 17180. So like we saw last week with the League One cards as well, selling around the content drop as people get hyped and buy cards for the cup is a good way to do it or maybe even selling ahead of time as well just to be safe but that should be a part of content today on this game and i'm not invested for it at all as you kind of saw on my transfer list i am really not invested in anything at the moment and i don't know if i'm going to be um i was looking at this valverde that was the only la liga card that i was kind of interested in but it looks like he's being invested in a lot already and a lot of people are even just like starting to list at like you know 160 to list their card up and have an opportunity to sell it because he was 130 you know so cards like that i don't know how much they go up today but it should be a good day to trade on the game there should be demand and there should be people buying a few cards here or there especially because three foot champs quality points were given out again and i actually think i saw something as i was clicking through the menus here which is not normal something about playing for the red picks for was this actually a la liga team of the season Get ready for this weekend. Qualify for champions to compete for La Liga Tots red items. Okay, so I guess there is a little La Liga Tots red item uh, hint in here. That's very small, though, and most people are not going to see that. But anyway, that's kind of the only countdown we have for La Liga at this moment in time. So, yeah, other than that, guys, will EA surprise us with anything today? I'm still asking for evolutions. Why have Evos? Evos are kind of like the barometer of the whole Tots content right now anyway. It's just, it's gotten really, really slow in this uh, section of the game as well. And I think there is one Evo, the Premier League Tots Evo. You have one more day to finish this one off um, before it goes away. Give us an Evo, man. EA, we need an Evo. We need some La Liga Tots juice. Just give me some hints. Like, give me something to be a little bit more excited about on this game. Because I think as of right now, I might even start saving some packs. I mean... Yeah, sure. I still have some packs in here, and I would still like a chance at packing some more League One team in the seasons. But as it looks right now, there's not an SBC that I'm super interested in crafting. I've opened a lot of packs that I've already wanted to open. I don't know how much more grind I want to put in to League One when I could save some of these packs today, especially like the 83 times 10s, maybe even the 84 plus player picks. Save some of that for what is going to be upcoming tomorrow with la liga tots i'm excited for it right i'm just wanting some more information and news if there's going to be leaks let's have them that's what i'll say that right if it's going to be a surprise and no leaks then fine but if there's going to be leaks then let's have them and let's get the information out there and let's get ourselves a little bit excited for la liga team of the season so if you enjoyed this video today drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new i will see you guys in the twitch stream today it's been nathan for counting see you guys there peace out